Hi, good morning. My name is Azrul Mamakaleb. I'm a social activist. I'm an ordinary Malaysian. I'm a Malay Muslim. This incident with regards to YB Teresa Court needs to be condemned by all Malaysians. There are two issues here, really. It's not about the video. It's not about being art critics about whether or not it was laughable or a good Chinese New Year message. It really is about two things. First is the consequences of us encouraging hatred, prejudice, bigotry and accepting it as fact. What is happening today in our country must stop. As ordinary Malaysians, we should do, be able to do something and be able to voice out our concerns to our leaders and to those in authority that it is not acceptable to spread messages of hate, discrimination, bigotry through our mosques, our places of worship, through the Qutbah Jum'at and so forth. This trend of tolerating these messages from these NGOs must stop. Our leaders must come out and strongly condemn. This is not a partisan issue, this is not a political issue, and I certainly support what is being done today to make the police reports because this is something that the Ministry of Women, Family and Community Development must come out and condemn. The different politicians from the different political divides must come out and condemn. That is one with regards to uh, tolerating this message. We should not tolerate this continued message of hate and prejudice. The second is with regards to violence against women. What is being perpetrated here is an acceptance of a culture of tolerating violence against women by saying that there is a bounty of 500 ringgit, basically challenging anyone to go and slap YB Teresa caught in the face is an acceptance of a culture of violence against women and we should be able to condemn this. It is not acceptable regardless whether you're a woman or a man, violence against women is not tolerated and acceptable. With regards to having an additional bounty of 1,200 ringgit so that you can get a photo of that person slapping YV Theresa Court, totally unacceptable, again, must be condemned and I am surprised that this has become a political issue. It should not be. We should all be coming out and be able to condemn and be able to say that violence against women is unacceptable and we should be able to say it and not be afraid. Stop being afraid. I think for too long on so many issues, we think that by not voicing out, we are uh, playing safe and we are uh, actually not trying to get ourselves into trouble. The reality is, is that by being silent, we are allowing these uh, acts and threats of violence against women, keganasan tada wanita, to continue on. And therefore, for me at least, the reason why I'm here today making a police report in, in uh, asking the police to investigate this is so that we can send a clear signal to these perpetrators, to this so-called group that is claiming to um, do this in the name of Islam, that they are not doing so. We condemn, and as a Malay Muslim, I condemn. Thank you. I have, I, number one, I think that the site the silence of the government on this issue is deafening and we have to do something because it's violence and they're doing it in the name of Allah if if there was anyone who is supposed to be banned from using the word Allah it is them not the non-muslims they cannot use the word Allah in vain and say Allah Akbar let's slap somebody let's kill somebody that is not in the name of Allah that is not what Islam taught us that is not the budaya Melayu that has been taught to all of us budaya Melayu doesn't say doesn't condone this so what I'm what I did was I did a police report because I believe that there's elements of definitely there is um, under the penal code Kanun Kasek Sa'an section 323 slapping and there are betting and tissing enticing someone to slap and have a have a payment a bounty on on the head of YB Teresa I think it's it's uncultured it's uncalled for uh, we cannot have this we cannot condone this it's violence as a as a woman as a as a Malay, as a Muslim, as a citizen of Malaysia, my, I feel that my murtabat as a woman, as a Malay, as an Islam Muslim, as a Malaysian has been eroded because of their actions. So um, uh, I think that the government has to do something about this. We can't we can't allow people to go around saying let's slap or let's kill people like that. It's not our culture. Yeah.